Hi, welcome to Dex. Dex is a personal CRM that lets you build stronger relationships, helping you keep in touch and also remember where you left off. In this video, I'll go through how to get started from setting up your account to using the Dex extension and web dashboard. After that, I'll go through how to get set up with importing, merging, and organizing your contacts and also the mobile app. Before we begin, if you ever get confused, check out guide.getdex.com for more information. All right, to get started, I'm going to go ahead and go to getdex.com on my desktop Chrome browser. Um, if you use a different browser, we'll ask you to switch just for the setup process. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add the Dex Chrome extension. And once that's done, you'll be redirected to the sign up page. Here, you can either continue with Google or just use your name, email, and password, which is what I'll do here. All right, now that you've created an account, the first thing that we'll do is give you a little bit more information on how Dex works. Once you've read through this, feel free to click continue. In this next step, we'll ask you to try the Dex extension in LinkedIn by clicking that blue button on the right-hand column of the screen. And you'll see how that works now. I'll also show you how to do this later as well. And in this next step, we'll ask you to connect your Google Calendar. With your calendar, we'll be able to show you relevant matching events in Dex itself for your contacts, as well as give you a few suggestions of people you can import during the setup process as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and click continue. Now that's done, you can see that Google Calendar and Contacts has been successfully connected on this screen. Um, here you can actually also connect LinkedIn and Facebook. Both of these processes take a little bit of time, but well worth it. Facebook will also import birthdays, for example. And once that's done, feel free to click continue here whenever you're ready. On this next screen, you'll see everyone we've been able to bring in from Calendar, Contacts, LinkedIn, and Facebook. The important thing to note is you'll actually have to choose who you want to add into Dex here. So here, what we might suggest is checking off all the recommended contacts here. It should be about 20 or 30. And then also going through the list of all people and checking off anyone else who might be useful to bring into Dex as well. Once you're done, there's a continue button down here on the bottom of the screen. In the next screen, we'll ask you to set keep in touch reminders for contacts that you've just added. Keep in touch reminders are how Dex sends you a reminder to reach out for people when it's been more than a certain period of time since your last interaction. As long as you keep that last interaction up to date, we'll automatically push back that keep in touch reminder so we don't send you any unnecessary reminders as well. So here, for example, if the last interaction, which is right now inferred from your calendar events, um, is you know, more than a month ago, if you set a keep in touch reminder for at least every one month, then we'll send you a keep in touch reminder when it's been more than a month. Um, there may be a lot of contacts here as you've added them in from the previous step. You can also set uh, frequencies in bulk here using this set all button. And here I might suggest sending everyone to at least a year and then customizing and going down through the list as you see fit here. Uh, once you're done, uh, and you don't have to set a keep in touch frequency for everyone, once you're done, feel free to click continue all the way at the very bottom of the screen. In the next step, we'll ask you if you'd like a link to download the mobile app. If you type in your number here, we'll send you a text message with a link. And feel free to click continue if you'd like to do this later. All right, now that you're all set up, this will be the first page that you see, the dashboard. Instead of showing the dashboard, I'm first going to show you how the extension works and then come back. So what I'm going to do now is just open up a contact. And after I open up this contact, I'm going to show you how the extension works. So the first thing to note is that these grayed out icons are actually actions. There's no LinkedIn profile for this contact jack yet. What I'm going to do is click this link. And what that'll do is open up LinkedIn with a search for this contact pre-populated. Here I can pick the right contact. After I click the right contact here, you'll notice with the extension, we add a blue button on the page here. By clicking this blue button, we'll either add or look up this contact in Dex. If it's the same person, we can click link contact. And if it's someone else, we can click add them as a new contact. I'm going to go ahead and click link contact here. And what you, you'll notice there is we've added in all the relevant information we can see on this LinkedIn page, including title, email, and LinkedIn link as well. Now that we have Jack open here on the right, there's a few things I want to point out. First, you can set a keep in touch frequency here if you haven't already. You can update your last interaction with the contact here. And when you update the last interaction, you can also just use free text. Here, you can add a description for contact as well. Um, where people often put things like partners' names, kids' names, how they met. Um, underneath that, where it says add to groups, you can add a contact to one or more groups. And then later in the Dex web dashboard, you can view contacts by group as well. The timeline is the, your running log with this particular person. So here, uh, because of the calendar integration, we're actually just seeing the relevant related calendar events. But if you wanted to create an event here, we can also tag new contacts as well. Uh, we can leave a new event here. And this is where you can leave uh, a reminder for yourself of where you left off with this contact. So we can also do some basic formatting. Um, and after that, you can also add a one-time reminder to reach out on a specific date as well. On the details tab, you can see that we've added the company and 
education from the actual DEX web page itself, as well as the location of the contact. And you can add in any custom fields, addresses, phone numbers, information that you want to add in here as well. Uh, lastly, if you click the open in DEX button right here, it'll just pop open a new DEX window with this contact um, as a full page view right here. The last thing to note here with this contact open is each of these buttons will open up a different search in different social networks. So if you click search Facebook, we'll open up a search with Facebook. We'll open up a search for Twitter if we click that Twitter icon as well. And in each of these social networks, you'll see a button similar to the button in Dex itself as well. So if you look for it, we have a button in messenger.com, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Gmail as well. Here, for example, is a test email from Jack. You can see we have a LinkedIn icon that just opens up that search for LinkedIn for the contact, as well as a DEX icon. And if you click the DEX icon, it'll do the same thing as it did previously, ask you if it's the same contact already in DEX. And if we click link contact, we'll automatically add that email in and can do everything that we did previously as well. The DEX extension is a really quick and easy way to just jump back into DEX, add a note or add a reminder, and not have to go into a separate tool or separate system to just manage your relationships. Um, it's pretty key in helping you build a habit around using DEX, so would definitely recommend it uh, if you haven't tried it already. Uh, here you'll see the dashboard page first. The dashboard page will show you the keep in touch contacts that you should reach out to today or that are overdue. Since you just created your account, this will probably be pretty blank where there won't be anything here. If you press tab or click to the upcoming tab here, you can see all your contacts with keep in touch reminders that have a keep in touch date in the future. And you can see everyone upcoming here as well. Uh, one of the things I wanna show you now is the keyboard shortcuts experience. So if you're on a Windows computer, type in control K. If you're on a Mac, you can type in command K and you can open up a quick kind of command bar or command menu here. If I type in show keyboard shortcuts, for example, you can see it's bound to a question mark symbol. And if I press enter, I can go ahead and open up a list of keyboard shortcuts. And if I press escape, I can close this. If I type in question mark again, I can open that up again. Um, here on this contact dashboard, there's a few shortcuts that might be useful for you. The first thing is you can use the up and down keys to select different contacts, the J and K keys to move up and down. You can use the F shortcut to change keep in touch frequencies, including removing keep in touch frequencies for contacts. You can also use the Q, uh, H and E keys as well. So the H key will snooze a contact. Let's say I want to snooze this until April 1st. I can just type in the date here, press enter, the keep in touch reminder will get snoozed to April 1st. I can also use just the time measure, like uh, in three months, for example. And that'll snooze that as well. The Q key will just leave a quick event that'll just reset that keep in touch reminder. And then finally, the E key, which is what you'll use the most, um, is going to open up an add event screen for this contact where you can type in something real quick click add event, and that'll, as mentioned before, reset the keep in touch reminders. So the key pattern here is you see someone upcoming for a keep in touch reminder, press E, leave an event, that keep in touch reminder will get reset based on that frequency in the future. And that's how you use this main dashboard. You can also type in shift tab to go back to the today screen. And the today screen will also show you your upcoming one-time reminders, which I'll talk about in just a moment. All right, next I'll go over the other pages in the dashboard. So first we have the timeline page, which as you might imagine is a timeline of all the events you've left in DEX. And each of these events are searchable by full text. So if you type something in the search bar here, you can find all matching events uh, and you can also filter by year. Here, quick note, you can also tag multiple contacts and notes. So let's say I want to create a new event um, with a few different contacts here. If we leave an event like this, click add event here, each of these contacts will have this event in their respective contact timelines. The next thing I want to show you is the contacts page. Uh, here you can see a list of all the contacts that you've added into DEX. Um, quick notes, you can also use the up and down arrows here and the J and K keys here to um, use and select different contacts. You can also use the X key to select multiple contacts. And when you have multiple contacts selected, we have a few bulk actions that you can take as well. You can merge contacts together, um, set groups for the entire selection instead of frequency for the entire selection as well. You can also export and delete all the groups here. And of course, if you select all the contacts here and click export, you'll export all the contacts at once. All right, the next thing is the keep in touch page. So here you can click and drag contacts from one column to the next. And each column is a keep in touch frequency that we have configured index. So if you want to move contacts from one column to the next, or just even see who you're trying to keep in touch with, you can do that here as well. And here you can also change the view to go from all contacts to a very specific group as well.
And next on the reminder screen, you'll see the upcoming runtime reminders you have for contacts and decks. You can think of these reminders as supplemental on top of the keep in touch reminders on decks. So if there's a very specific date or a specific purpose you want to reach out for, you can leave a one-time reminder and get an email and push notification on the day of. The merge and fix page I'll go over in just a moment. And the birthdays page will show you your upcoming birthdays for contacts. So here, if you have contacts that have um, birthdays set, probably imported from Facebook. You can see that here and view the relevant contacts here. On the location page, you can see your contacts without a location and the different locations uh, for your contacts here. If you import from LinkedIn, we will actually import their locations as well. And you can actually just go ahead and open up the location, see the relevant contacts, and click and drag contacts that don't have a location to contacts uh, to the existing locations in your DEX account um, to help you kind of organize and get everything in order. And then lastly, on this, Sidebar is the group's browser page. And each contact can belong to multiple groups. Here you'll see a list of contacts without a group on the left or groups on the right. And you can click and drag to move contacts from one uh, column to the next. Uh, because contacts can belong to multiple groups, you can actually change this to show you all contacts. And here you'll see contacts that already have a group as well. And you can categorize these contacts so they belong to multiple groups. And you can see which groups a contact belongs to by their little kind of emoji tag next to their row. And you can uh, kind of categorize your contacts with the group browser in one place more easily that way as well. All right, there's just a few more things that I think would be useful to show. Uh, first is you can see the groups menu here on the left. If you go ahead and click a group, you'll see contacts just for that group. And you can go ahead and open up different contacts here, um, select multiple contacts, do your shortcut actions, all that stuff. Um, if you'd like to make changes to a group, you can edit the group here or delete the group um, with this menu over here. Uh, you can also see on the bottom here that this entire sidebar is scrollable. We have a few more pages here where you can upgrade to Dex Premium, import other contacts, which I'll talk about soon, uh, sync different calendars and later your contact between Dex and different accounts, and then finally refer Dex to other people um, and earn Dex credit for doing so. On the top right, you'll see a different um, set of create uh, options. If you want to create a new contact, group, or event, you can click that. We'll open up a window to do that. This is a quick kind of button where you can access that command panel. And on the top right is what you'll see all the other links to anything else that you can't find in the sidebar, including the mobile app, the extension, uh, the settings page, and where you can sign out. On the top, you'll also have the main search bar where you can search both contacts and groups and jump into our actual global search experience as well. So let's say you search college here, you can open up the group and find things quickly with the top search bar. For importing to Dex, there's also a few things to know. So first thing is if you're importing from LinkedIn or Facebook, you can click one of these icons from the import page, and that'll take you back into that original flow where you can connect LinkedIn and Facebook and import your contacts that way. If you're importing from iCloud, what we'll ask you to do is actually use the mobile app um, and download the mobile app, import from phone contacts. You can import your notes, your addresses, emails, phone numbers, all that stuff. If you're importing from Gmail or Outlook, you can actually import from multiple different accounts from kind of this flow right here. And if you'd like to import from a CSV file, you can upload a CSV file here and map that onto the different column names that we have available in DEX as well. And you can see a sample CSV file from here as well. After you finish importing, you'll probably have some duplicate contacts. And from there, we'll ask you to go to the merge and fix page here on the left, and then go ahead and review those duplicates or just merge them all um, if the duplicates look good to you. Um, and you can get one clean set of records that way. We'll take care to make sure that the contacts are merged uh, in the right way with every uh, information that can be preserved uh, being preserved. All right, the last thing I want to go over is the DEX mobile app. If you go to the DEX mobile app page from the top right corner, this is the page that you'll get to. And on this page, you'll see a few links to the DEX mobile app in the Play Store and the App Store, as well as a few screens. I won't go into too much depth here other than the mobile app is really where you can do everything you do on the web dashboard and the extension on your phone. So you can take DEX on the go, create events, reminders, uh, groups, et cetera, and basically see the information that you've left uh, on the actual phone app itself. You can also use the phone app to import from your phone contacts and sync from your phone calendar as well to add events based on your phone calendar events too. All right, that's it for the walkthrough today of DEX. I hope you found this video useful in helping you get your own DEX account set up. Whether you're a business school student, professional, or just someone who wants to manage their network, I hope DEX will prove to be a useful tool for you. And we'd love to learn how you ended up using DEX. And if you have any questions or feedback, feel free to reach out at contact at Thanks for watching.